A little disclosure before this uh, video gets started, there's going to be no edits, no filters. This is going to be straight raw dog. Um, it's, go it's going at you um, through the spirit of the most high. I'm just going to spew it out and we're going to get it popping. Stay tuned. Lost Sheep of Israel. Thank you uh, for coming back and uh, getting informed here with me. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is your brother Yaban once again coming back at you from a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I had to put out a video um, while I've been studying, um, you know, occasionally going out and doing some street teaching with my brothers. And um, yeah, now that we're under this uh, coronavirus lockdown, um, what better time than to uh, continue putting out the word before the famine of the word um, becomes prevalent. So um, I don't want to talk too much. We're always going to start off by saying and uh, giving all praises to the Most High God, Kahalal, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakata, Kahalal, Yahweh Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Barakata. Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha, Barakwapa, Barakata, Barakata Daba. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, ask the Most High. We're well, always giving Most High uh, praises and glory in His Son's name, Yahweh Shai, and always uh, giving praises and honor and glory at the same time while asking Him to bless this word and let it go out as a blessing uh, to the elect of Israel. Okay. Kwam uh, Yashur All right. So let, 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 let's start off by saying coronavirus. All right. Um, this is just the beginning, the beginning uh, 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 of plagues that are, that are out and, and, and set to come out. Um, we are experiencing the beginning in these times, in these times, because this has been going throughout, but uh, we are starting to now see the beginning of the end, okay, so to speak. So the Most High is, is uh, pouring out His judgment, but us as Israel... Um, we shall trust in the Most High, trust in, in, in our faith in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and continue forward until further notice, right? So, we, we're going to continue still doing our thing. I'm going to continue still doing my thing, which is glorifying the Most High and His only begotten Son, uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So, um, let's start off with Baruch. 2 and 7 in your Apocrypha. And so, bro, 2 and 7 reads as follows. For all these plagues are come upon us, which the Lord hath pronounced against us. Yet, moving on to verse 8, yet have we not prayed before the Lord that we might turn everyone from the imaginations of his wicked heart. Now, uh, our, our, our prayers are that the uh, the words of our mouth, the the, the, the well, the, they're out of our mouth, but we are are, are the trumpets of the Lord, uh, uh, sounding out the alarm. And our prayers is that uh, the lost sheep awaken to the truth of this word. And so we're getting towards these end times and we're starting to see these plagues come about. So we are noticing that there's not much more to be awakened. So if there's a small but very small remnant, well, we are going to continue putting out the word for, for every single last one of them. But um, from what we can see and the signs that are coming about, we are reaching that tail end group to be awoken because soon there will be no more fishing and the hunting will commence. Okay. Now let's get this straight. The Lord, uh, the most high Yahweh said, 
we will be fishers of men. And then he will send out the hunters. So don't expect that we are to do anything outside of the Most High's doing. The Most High will order this. The Most High will bring the judgment. The Most High's hand and the coming of the Messiah, the coming of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, will usher all this hunting. Okay, so it's not like uh, don't get it, don't get it misconstrued or, or, or misconceptions that we're out there waiting to do anything outside of what the Most High will usher in with our King and the 144,000 and the armies of the Most High. They, this will be in the Most High's hands, not in ours. Okay, if we're if we're fortunate to be of that elect hundred and forty four thousand, we will be gathered and 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 added to the the armies of the Most High and let His will be. Okay, but until then, we stand fast. We 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 put out the word, and we our prayers is that. Um, more and more of our brothers awake to this truth. Okay, so um, so why? You know, let, let's move on to Baruch three and four. We'll go over a, a chapter, and uh, we'll give some more explanation to why this is a time now that um, there will be, or we pray for the cleaving of our of our brothers and sisters okay so we'll go to baruch 3 and 4 and it reads o lord almighty thou god of israel hear now the prayers of the dead israelites and the and of the of their children which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee their god for the which cause these plagues cleave unto us, okay? So rather than what, what, what we should be doing, cleaving unto the word and cleaving unto to, to, to the prophets for the word, what we're doing is we're cleaving still unto our wicked desires. And, and so if this corona or any other plague creeps up on you and, and you know then it, it it's your own wicked doing and it's the judgment of the lord upon thee and this is why these plagues are cleaving unto the dead israelites so what are we talking about the, they say the dead shall rise first so we were once dead and we are waking to this truth and now we're living it and, and we're living in the truth and and, and, and that should take us on forward uh, onto the kingdom. But there are still dead Israelites and, and that are still cleaving to their own wickedness and, and well, the, 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 the wrath and, and judgment of the Most High is going to be upon you if you don't wake up and repent and, and put your trust in the Most High God and your faith in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So, um, let's go to Isaiah 33 and 14. Because, you, you know, we're not afraid okay we're not the ones that that that, that are stunting this this this, this plagues okay we put our faith and our trust in, in the most high and his only begotten son uh, and our faith in in yahweh shai hamashiach but um it, it, let's go to read isaiah 33 and 14 and it says the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness hath surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? 
Okay? So, the Most High says, He'll put us through the fire. But it, it also says, He that endureth to the end, he the same shall be saved. Okay? So, um, in, in, in fact, let, let, let's get that. Let's get that. And let's go to Revelation. So what I'm trying to say is, is actually, correction, Matthew 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So we will be hated for, for Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Now, now let me tell you something. People may think that, that this, this has nothing to do with us. They, they, they may think, how could we be maybe so pretentious that this may that this whole corona the plagues the the famine of the word the separation the social distancing that they're putting has everything to do with us with with, with the nation of Israel with the israelites um uh, the word was getting out and if you think that esau didn't know that the word was getting out that 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 the truth was being leaked, then you know you guys are really the ones that are living in some type of fantasy uh, Disneyland of your mind, okay? Because everything that is in the word is being prophesied and it's coming about and. You're seeing these things and you still want to live in some denial like this has nothing to do with the Most High and His children. But I, I'm here to tell you that this separation, this social distancing, this is another form of divide and conquer. All right, I want to touch up on this coronavirus. This all was pre-planned prior to it coming about um this is easy you can google some of these things and esau will tell on themselves like if we were stupid and like they're gonna rub it in our face do it and see how stupid we are that we don't even catch on but go look go look up event 201 go uh, youtube that and look up 201 how they had this meeting, pre-game the whole thing, and then put it into play. In the beginning of, 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 of uh, 2020. So, and here we are, um, playing out their little uh, uh, pandemia game. But anyway. Also, we, we're today is uh, April sixth, I believe. Man, we've been on lockdown so long, uh, I'm starting to lose track. But anyway, um, and it is not even long. The, the, I mean, uh, it, it may seem long because yeah, you know, everything shut down. We're not running on our normal schedules. People are not going to work, and so every day that we go in, in, in this manner. We, um, you know, it seems like an eternity, but we're still at April 6th. This is supposed to supposedly according to the government, which if you're putting your trust in man, all right, and not in the most high uh, for, for a, a timeline for this, who knows? Okay. But technically it's supposed to go the whole month of April, but here we go. Uh, technically what, uh, people, are, are, are wanting to celebrate Easter, okay? And Easter is something you can Google very easy as being pagan, okay? The true celebration is in Passover, 
the week of unleavened bread. Um, these are our high holy days that we are supposed to be uh, celebrating. God said, celebrate his holy days. But man changed holy days to holidays. Go figure. I mean, he's changed times and is attempted to change times. Okay? So ju just to defer, deflect, and, 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 and put us on the wrong track. Okay? So this has always been a conspiracy against the, 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 the children of the Most High. Because the powers that be, this one world order, this, 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 this plot has always been about us and them. And them, they're in the know. The ones that are, are, have been put in the dark have been us. Okay? We are the ones that, 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 that have been, um, you know, plotted against for us not to, to remember, remember the, the, uh, uh, who we are as a people, how we, how they've plotted to destroy us as a people, because they know that they are not chosen. And so, uh, like misery loves company. So they know they're going down for all the treachery that they've done throughout time. And they want to take as many of, of us with them. So, um, which leads me to, to go to uh, another precept. Let's go to um, Psalms 83. Let's go to Psalms 83 and we'll start up uh, at, uh, at 2. And I want to read this. And this is one that I use a lot. And and I, I have a whole lesson plan. And I don't want to make this long. But we have to wake up and smell uh, what, what Esau is cooking. And, and it smells pretty putrid. All right. So um, this is eight, uh, Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they hate thee. And, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So these people, your enemies, are plotting against you. They hate you. And they lift up their heads like they're above you. Okay? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. All right, so in, in, in their in their plotting, they say we have to cut these people off from being a nation, divide and conquer. That's always been the name of the game, okay? Because while they create this social distancing, this 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 this, this divide and conquer type of thing, we're never going to unite as a people to overthrow uh, 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 the, the this the, these the the propagation. Uh, 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 of this madness that they infiltrate us with and, and I'm not saying us the Israelites but us as a people you jakes that haven't woken up okay so how are we going to overthrow the, this concept from our mind as being some 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 crazy random pandemic where if you research it enough, you see that it's not random. It was totally plotted. Okay? So they have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against the hidden ones. Okay? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why you don't remember you're an Israelite. That's why you don't uh, uh, click with, 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 with all the ploys and, 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 and BS that's going on. And you don't connect the dots. Because they have made you forget that you are 
the Most High's chosen people. And at the end of the day, he's coming for the ones that keep his commandments, laws, statutes, and, their fa and, his, and the faith in his son. These are the ones that are going to endure to the end. For his name's sake. Okay. Um, and for his name's sake are we hated. And that's why we are. They're trying to cut us off. As a people. And now that. The great awakening is happening. For the Israelites. And we're coming into the knowledge. They're saying wait a minute. The truth is coming out. The truth is coming out in so many ways. Okay. We're starting to learn that everything that's ever been taught to us, 99.9 .9 of it is lies. To include the global earth as a, as a sphere and the planets and what they think about the moon and, and, and space, it's all been lies. The holidays. Christmas, Easter, everything, lies. Coronavirus, lies. Now, the virus is real, okay? They plotted this, okay? But every time Esau plots something, it always gets out of his control. Because the truth of it and the truth of the matter is that the Most High is in control, so he, he put it in their hearts for them to do such a thing, then to take it out of their hands because it's all in the Most High's hands. And it's all part of the Most High's, uh, the Most High's plan to spread these plagues amongst the wicked, amongst the, old, the, the, the same people that propagate these things. We're not worried. All right? We're not worried. Like, like, like Isaiah 33 and 14 says, it is the sinners that are worried. You run around scared because you know you are wicked. All right. So, again, uh, from jumping down to five, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Okay, so they are totally against you. Okay, they're against, and, and it's funny how it uses that word confederate in an ancient term when, 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 when the Psalms was put down by David. Imagine that this would become a thing, confederate, in, in, in where the, the, the majority and the bulk of, of the remnant of Israel abide here in America. Okay. This is what we have to understand. And that's why I always go down into the breakdown of who we are, our migration patterns from Israel as the northern kingdom coming down through the Euphrates around uh, Africa into Azareth, which is now known as the Americas. And we started disembarking from south to north and in the Caribbean. And that's why we are them as the northern kingdom. To include the southern kingdom that would join us after they dipped down into Africa. And it wasn't Africans selling Africans. It was Africans selling Hebrews that were in their land and sold them into slavery. But in, in, in just 20 minutes, I've gotten into so many different lessons that, 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 that I can go into that, that this... That this uh, video that I'm putting out can go into hours of different teachings to prove these things to you. But I want to just keep these things in track. But just know that they can be proven through the Word. But I want to stick to the lesson so that this thing doesn't uh, run along a course. And I want to keep your attention span to the nitty gritty of what's going on. This is the beginning of the end. Now, maybe Hebrew Israelites don't sound so crazy anymore. And now you may be paying attention. So I want to keep you focused. 
So let's go to Psalms 44 and 14. All right. So we're going from 33 to 14, uh, 33 to 14 to eight uh, to 83 and, and 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 now to 34. I mean to to 44 and 14. Then you know what, what you don't understand that this these scriptures have an algorithm. They have it, it, it's a code for the Israelites. This this these scriptures were written by Israelites for Israelites. That's why most people don't get it. Because this is only for the children of Israel. This is only for the elect of the Most High. And it's for our eyes to understand. And we're going to see the patterns. How God codes this word for our eyes only. And that's why we get it and most people don't. And if you don't get it. It's just because it's not for you. And you're going to die with the rest of these heathens. The two thirds of Israel. Which are. The blacks, the, the 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 Latinos and Native Indians, okay, by majority here in America. And if you don't wake up to this truth, you're gonna die stupid. You're gonna die not knowing what hit you. We already see what's coming. We already waiting. We are ready, waiting for our Lord and Savior to bring salvation because that is what salvation is to be get, to be saved from the madness. Not as like doctrinized Christian dogma would tell you you're walking around already saved and there's people dying from Corona and there's people walking around scared. What are you saved from if you're scared? Salvation is that we get lifted up out of this madness and taken to safety while the Most High comes and destroys the wicked on earth. Now this is starting to sound a little more real than your Disneyland fantasies that you can trust your government, you can trust everything around you but yet you're walking around scared to unite with your brothers and sisters for the truth. All right. So, this is how we know that it's us. This is how we know it is us. This is how we know that we need to wake up. Because we're the only ones. We're the only byword on this planet. Psalms 44 and 14. You know, and I'm doing this off the cuff, man. I, I, I'm uh, doing it through the Spirit of the Most High. The Spirit of the Most High yielded in my heart to get back on these videos, uh, make this last push uh, uh, for the for for everyone to to wake up to this truth, um, and, and so that we can just be gathered up. This one last shot uh, at at fishing uh, um, the children of Israel. And, and and get ready to roll. All right. So. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. A shaking of head among the people. My confusion. Let's read unto 15. My confusion is continually before me. And the shame of my face hath covered me. They've made you to hate yourself. They've made you to call yourself in degraded terms, nigga. They have made you to, to not love who you are. Mohaw, Spick. They made you confused in your own skin. They've made you to learn how to trust your enemy rather than God. All right. So I'm going to keep it moving, man, because you know me. I've been, uh, if you watch my videos, uh, you know that I can go on a rant. But it's only because I love you and I want you to wake up to what, what, what what's going on 
what's going on in the world right now. And it's high time you wake up to the truth. You start seeking the prophets of the Most High, the true prophets of the Most High, who he, who he in charge this word to, who can disseminate and decode this word for you, Israelite. So, so, so you need to seek it out while there's still availability of this information. Because uh, soon enough, you're not going to be able to find the one of us to cleave to. All right? Or to, for, to cleave for this information. All right? So I'm going to try to keep it under an hour, but I got... I might have to do several parts, which is okay, because it'll keep you having something to do, getting some information uh, throughout the time that you're on lockdown. Why not be seeking out the Most High's Word at this time? Why not be praying and fasting at this time so that you can get that understanding? So... You know, I, um, I as always in all my lessons, because you never know, I always try to bring it to the milk. You know, I'll give you some complex thinking. You know, I'll throw some meat in there for you to chew on, despite you may not have the tea for it, because I'm, I'm eager to get information on. But then I got to realize that, you know, I may have some babe watchers that, that need the milk to really have all this connect and click in their head, right? So I need to make you understand why this is happening. Why has this always been happening to our people? Why has this been happening since we were back in Jerusalem? Okay? Since we were back in the wilderness with Moses. Okay? This has always been happening. Okay? So... Let, let, let's get let, let's get to to the milk. Like as always, I'm always gonna give you a dose of milk so you can make it click and it can relate to you, black Latino or Native American or Native Indian that is uh, listening in, Seminole Indian that's listening in. Okay, the 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 natives of this land. Okay, because before any explorer came here trying to. Feed you another lie telling you that they that they discovered this when we were already here. Okay? Northern Kingdom was already here. That's you Latinos and Native Indians. And then we were joined by our head tribe, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, our leaders. And this is where the Most High said he will bring us back into one stick. Don't get it twisted. This one stick was not about us joining Gentiles, the heathen. Okay? We were once Gentiles. Okay? This is what the word said. We were once Gentiles. Because why? We fell into their ploys. We fell into their game. We fell into their mentality. And we became like them. But he says, get us up out of her. Now is the time for us to become one stick with the southern and northern kingdom. That's the stick he was talking about. Reuniting Israel again. And we're going to touch on some of this stuff so you can realize it. All right. So let, let's go. Let's go hit up Deuteronomy 28 as we always do. Okay. Because these curses only fit us. They don't fit the, 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 the Jewishy, the ish people, the something like people. They're the ones that are the, 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 the number one uh, propagator of this man is, is the Jewish. They're the ones with all the money. They're the ones controlling the propaganda on the TV. But you don't know that you, black man, are the real, original Jew. 
But we're going to hit on this. Let's start. Let, let's let's hit some key ones, right? So let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's uh, hit up 37. Okay. I got some key ones here marked off so that we can. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. All right? Just like this is a precept to, to what I just read in, in, in Psalms 44. He shall make us a byword so that we would know who we are. We're the astonishment. We're the proverb and the byword amongst all nations. Whither the Lord shall lead thee. I can hit you with many, many scripts that'll key in and clue that we are the people that he led and spread for the same reason that these things are happening now. Because of our disobedience. Okay? He said we were a stiff-necked, rebellious people. But we're his kids. And so... No matter how much we, we we spank and correct and discipline our kids, they're always our kids. And the Most High, here's where the love comes about. The love of your father comes about. He said we would be bastard children if he didn't chastise us. Okay? So we got to understand that this is love. Because if he didn't spank us and let us do whatever we, we want to do, which that's what the rest of the heathens, the rest of the Gentiles, Esau, Amalek, Moab, and, and Gog, and Magog, all of them are doing right now. And they're not getting punished because they get it. They, 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 they're, they're filling the cup of their indignation. They're going to get theirs. But before... You take care of anybody else's kids or you bring it to somebody else's parents, you're going to take care of your own. And that's what the Most High is doing. He's taking care of his own. He's trying to wake up his... Well, he's not trying. He's a, We've already been elected since the foundation of the earth. So he's going through the process of waking us up. Okay? The process is almost complete. And now, it's going soon to be hunting season. In fact, I'm almost thoroughly convinced that hunting season has begun. Because the beginning of plagues are upon us now. And for you guys that are really running scared from this coronavirus and not putting your trust in the Lord, you got another thing coming. Because it's coming one after another, after another, after another, after another to Yahweh Shai come back. And if Yahweh Shai comes back, guess what? He ain't coming back for hugs and kisses. He's coming back to bring that sword. He's coming back to bring that sword to the wicked of this land. And where are we going to be? Well, us the commandment keepers, the saints, the, 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 the ones that endure to the end, well, we'll be enduring in, in, in some safe haven while he wreaks havoc on the earth. So for you preppers, are you really prepped? Are you prepped with the living waters of this word? Are you prepped in your faith uh, uh, in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? Prepped by keeping these commandments. Because he's only coming for the faithful. He's only coming for the children that have been obedient. That choose to be obedient. All right, let's hit up Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to jump down to 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. 
who's very high, who's very low. Only the black Latinos and Native American, uh, Native, Native, um, Natives can't, are the only ones that can't get up out of that rut. And everybody's above us telling us how to do, what to do, and run us. Basically, we're still in a psychological slavery. You're still enslaved. If anybody thinks that you're free, tell me if you're free right now to go and do what you want to do. Tell me if you go if you're free to go to work. Tell me if you go if you're free to go make money. Tell me if you're free to go find some goddamn toilet paper. All right. So let's go to Deuteronomy 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which I command thee. Your father, the Most High, Yahweh, commanded you. He didn't say if you want. It was a commandment. He told you, you do. And us commandment keepers, we follow. And if it's high time that you start keeping these commandments. Start within your heart, within your soul and spirit to want to do the Most High's will, even in these last times. You still have a moment, a chance, a glimpse to get this right and wake up to this truth. All right, so... All right, a little more. We'll, we'll do 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever this is how we know that today in this day in 2020 in this coronavirus in this pandemic in this situation that they're creating in this mayhem that they're creating for you that you still can recognize that you're the only one that's going to suffer and this curse is on your seed you you're that sea that's transcended, that's transcended through time and are here now still going through it. Because do you think that the elitists are suffering right now? They got their toilet paper. They got their cans of Lysol. They got their cans of food, water, all that. All the things that you're struggling to get. And you're fortunate that you still could probably get some. What are you going to do when you can't get some? Huh? Don't you know that this is just training for the next phase? Which will be martial law, FEMA, the accepting of the RFID chip, the, the mark of the beast. On your uh, on your hand or on your forehead, however the hell they want to scan you to make you their property, to make you still dependent. What do you think the stimulus check is about? What do you think about? Well, what do you think it, it, uh, uh, going and, and practicing grabbing food at your local school is about? Creating more dependency. Putting that, that yoke back on your neck. Because you're not going to know what to do. You're going to run to all these things. You're going to run to your enemy to help you. Instead of putting your trust in the Most High. And that's why these curses have been upon us. Because we don't trust the Most High. We don't want to keep commandments. We don't want to keep laws. But we'll follow the rules of some damn false created pandemia. Some pre-martial law game planning for you. Pre-gaming for you. 
But you'll keep those rules. You'll keep those laws, statutes. But you won't keep the most high God's laws, statutes, and commandments in thy heart, in thy practice. To show the most high that you're an obedient child. So that you can have a rescue from all this madness through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Man, with that I'm going to keep it at, at, at 45 minutes. I, I think I'm going to do a, a part two. Let's, let's just, you know what? I'm going to wrap up. Uh, I'm going to wrap up. Um, Let's wrap up Deuteronomy. Um, we'll go to, we'll read 48, 52, 61, and 64. We'll wrap it up and then I'll do a part two to also in recognition of who we are, uh, uh, the scattering, the awakening, and, 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 you know, coming out of this slumber so that we can be in, in, in preparedness. This, this is the real prepping, okay? This is prepping 101. By Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. By Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. So th this is th this is the prepping. This is the true uh, 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 cure. Your trust in the Most High. So let's wrap this up with. Um, I think I just read. Um, 46, we'll jump over to 48. Therefore, and, and, and by all means, read, read, read all of 28 for all those that are not awake, that are just stumbling onto this. Um, read all of 28. If you think this doesn't relate to, to us as a people, then I ain't got nothing else to tell you. It says, my sheep shall hear my voice. Okay? So, you know what? If you don't hear it, it's... You know, good luck. But uh, I don't really mean that. All right. So, uh, 48. Therefore shall, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things to include toilet paper. And he shall put a yoke of, of iron upon thy neck. It's still on there. Hello, until he have destroyed thee. This is what your enemy is looking to do. Destroy you. Okay? Remember, again, I'll repeat it. The elitists, the 10% the, 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 the uh, that want all this to happen, want the destruction, the collapse of the economy, they're not going to suffer. You will. But understand that this is part of a process to waken those that are destined to be wakened. So wake up. All right. Uh, we'll round it off. 61. And also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thee be until thou be destroyed. All right, that process already happened. We have already been destroyed as a people. The, the the plot by Esau to destroy us as a nation already happened through conquest, through divide and conquer, through indoctrination. Remember. We was always a people that could not read. We didn't understand. We, 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 were, we were natives in this land. And, and, and we was brought a, 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 um, a new doctrine through, our con uh, through the conquistadors and, and, and through the expl explorers. Okay? They wanted to explore your mind through death, pain, and suffering. Through bloodshed. All right, so um, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there shall serve other gods, and there thou shalt serve other gods, white Jesus, crosses, 
Easter bunnies, Nimrod Christmas trees, Tammuz Mother's Day, the list goes on. Flying Cupid with bows and arrows shooting you in the butt to do perverse fornication, sodomy, homosexuality, all right? You know, the list goes on, man. But 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 we've been duped as a people, right? But if you're hearing the voice of the Most High God, not my voice, the message that he's bringing through his word, the message that he wants you to hear through his trumpets, the prophets of the Most High, sounding off like trumpets to show you your iniquity, so you can wake up and say, I get it now. All right? All right, man. And I'll throw this one in there. All right? I'll repeat 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee amongst all, all people from one end of the earth unto the other. And there shall thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Okay, your your plastered saints, your wooden crosses, uh, and, and, and everything under the sun, everything but your father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, Barakata, Kwam Yasharala, and for you Judites, which are the, uh, uh, the blacks. In America, the so-called African Americans, um, and, and and all those uh, black brothers like Benjamin and Levi that came across in slavery, which Benjamin is uh, uh, most of your West Indian Caribbean brothers, uh, dark skinned brothers, and and also the Levites, which are the Haitians that came over in slavery, in chains. This one's for you, sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt being synonymous with slavery. Because we never went back into Egypt. But what happened in Egypt? It was our slavery. Okay. So he says he's going to bring you back into that Egypt-like condition again. With ships. Okay. You don't have to travel via ship to get into Egypt. Okay. We walked in. We walked out. Okay. Okay. But this time he said, I'm going to bring you back with ships and the Lord shall bring you, bring, bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way of, I speak unto thee, thou shall not see it no more again. And they shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you, meaning we're still under slavery. We haven't been purchased or redeemed out of this slavery. The only redemption is going to be at the end for those that endure to the blood, the purchase of the blood which was spilt by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We can get into that. There's no J in the Hebrew. His original Hebrew name is Yahawashai, which transcends to Yaha, uh, Yash, Yeshua, as some may call him, which really means Joshua, okay? But, or Yahshua, because it was no J. But we want to know the name of salvation and that name of salvation is Yahawashai through the name of the most high which is Yahweh. so Yahweh, Bashem Yahawashai blessed be thy name Barakata and with that I say Kahalal Yahweh Bashem Yahawashai Barakata Kwam Yasharala is calling for the uplifting of our people Yasharala meaning Israel, Kwam meaning lift, 
Lift up your people, my Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Barakata. Shalom, brothers and sisters. But peace be unto you, and I'll see you in part two. I kept this under an hour as I promised. I want to keep you focused. Um, I, I'll set another one up. I'm going to go into my Spanish uh, version, and I'm going to make this uh, a, a series to keep us uh, informed throughout these uh, perilous times. Well, perilous for the two-thirds of our people and the rest of the heathen. We should be happy and awaiting the end. So keep enduring. Shalom. Kwam Yashua Allah.